Hello everybody, I'm Roadblock. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video, and we're pulling some shards. And the portal's red, so you might be thinking, are you pulling uh, primals? No. In fact, I, look, congratulations to all the people that got mythical champions in the primals that they pulled you should not have been pulling primals. And and this is something I like I read this I think it was a comment or something in my Discord where someone was like my my odds went to uh I'm paraphrasing here but went from really bad to slightly less bad. And it's like you still want to pull at the at the optimal level, right? You you know, if you're yes is 0.5% of an increase really going to make a difference to getting a mythical. Um on a large sample size, absolutely it will. And this is a long-term game. So, you know, if you did pull during this and you got a mythical, congratulations. I'm very happy for you. You know, that is a good thing. But um, keep in mind that this is not when you should be pulling primal shards, in my opinion. And I just want to make sure that people are aware of that. You want to wait until you can get a mythical from these, right? Because really, epics and legendaries from these shards are not what you're looking for, right? So... Uh, you're looking for mythicals out of them. That's that's the big a big reward there. So, okay. Um, but what am I pulling then? If I'm not pulling primal shards, what am I pulling? Well, I am going to pull these nine sacred shards. Hopefully not all nine. But we have a progressive chance here where we can get Enda. I'm going to go ahead and do Wallmaster. Because I think Wallmaster would be better for my account than some of the others. I already have a Cupidus. Um, on this account, do I have Hefrak? No, that was the Ninja account. Uh, regardless, I have plenty of Nukers. I don't really need a Hefrak. Um, I forget what this guy does. Uh, I did think about... <laughs> I did think about Tatsu because it'd be really funny if I didn't pull Enda, but I pulled Tatsu. But uh, we'll go with Wallmaster because he's really good, right? If it wasn't for him being so good, I wouldn't consider him. But what's this new... Oh, yeah, isn't he like... Uh... Um... I don't think I'd be upset not getting them. I would rather go for Wallmaster. I think Wallmaster is the... Oh, they're in an Armand's counter. Whenever this champion's turn meter is decreased, increases the damage of the next attack by 20%. Whenever this champion's turn meter drops below 20% because of a turn meter reduction effect, places block debuff on this champion and grants them an extra turn. Ah, yes. That makes sense. Interesting. That would be a good uh, counter for Armand's. Oh, yeah, they introduced her into the game. I thought this kit was really sick. Um, on paper. I don't remember all of it, but I remember seeing it and thinking that it looked really good. But I don't know. I don't worry too much about mythicals until I pull them. <laughs> Probably not the right strategy, but what I do. All right. So we want End of Moonbeam. End of Moonbeam is the last thing we need for the Lady Mikage fusion right here. So we're going for End of Moonbeam here. I am pulling Sacreds outside of a 2x. Not advised. My Mercy is zero, so at least I'm building Mercy. But I think it's very important that um, we try to go for Enda here. Yes, they may give me a guaranteed chance for Ancients down the line, but they also could not, right? And I don't want to miss out on some opportunities to get him now i'm gonna have to do some things that people don't like but let's make a little bit of room here um do do do, 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 do. hopefully we won't have to go that deep into our pulls but uh i think i probably made enough room for nine i did i made ten so we're good to go. All right. Pull number one. We're going to do these one at a time. Here we go. Make sure I'm recording. Okay, yes. Yes! Let's one try. One try. Let's go. That's how you do it. 
Easy peasy. Never. <laughs> As one of my good friends likes to say, never didn't have it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the bro. There's just a bro in chat, and it's <laughs> like... <laughs> Oh, it's so true. It's so true. Oh, I'm so happy. I got it on my first pull. Uh, no, nah, quality shouldn't have gone down. I have dropped zero frames. My KVPS is tip top. <laughs> End video. Yep, there we go. Um, well, hey, that was easy enough. That's how you do it, guys. I mean, you know, when you're as good as me, all it takes is one shard, right? I, I'm sorry. I'm just better. I'm just better at Rage Legends. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. So we're not quite there yet, right? We still have some work to do. We still have to complete the fusion for, for Tatsu, right? Then we have to level and ascend, level and ascend, well, level and rank up, rank up and ascend, right? To do all this stuff. So we do have quite a bit of work to do um but i have a goal now when is the next champion training <laughs> um so i can just start knocking all of those out i've got plenty of energy saved up right now which by the way i don't usually save my energy to the de degree that it's currently saved up at oh we're in a champion training awesome um i have a short day tomorrow i'm gonna try and get these rewards here so we will be doing champion training tomorrow um, throughout the afternoon, basically, and on Sunday. So that is going to be my plan. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to call that a video because we did it. All it took was one shard. I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's a short video, but we did it, and now we can get Mikage. So hopefully I'll get her sooner rather than later so we can make some content on her. Um, but we, we did it, right? So, the long-awaited end of Moonbeam, he does exist. Let's go. All right. Well, hey, if you are uh, new here and you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. It is the best way to support my channel. Also, I've been getting some comments about uh, issues with my audio and my, uh, you know, just my audio, really. I, I, I don't know what those are about. I'm all my settings are correct and to what they've been on all of my videos um and i've had other people that are live in the chat that say my audio is good and people that have watched the videos and say my audio is good so um sorry that you're having issues with my video but you know it happens uh so i don't know what to tell you but hopefully it gets fixed for you um Anyways, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate appreciate you all. I'm just, I don't know what to say. I'm in such a good mood right now. So uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.